Hey everyone and welcome to another Record Producer React video. Well actually it's not another one is it? It's a redo of the Ed Sheeran video. I'm going to try something. If people like it then they can sort of follow along. Now because a lot of this stuff, well all of this stuff I'm reviewing is copyright material, um, the owner of that copyright, in this case the record label, um, has launched a, uh, a, a, a strike against it. Not actually a copyright strike, it's actually a block. Um, they're not allowing my videos to be seen in certain countries because um, it involves copyright material. And that's absolutely correct. It does involve copyright material. It doesn't infringe on the copyright because it comes under fair use. And I have appealed against the decision, so hopefully the other video will become unblocked. However, until then, um, my suggestion is you leave this video running, you open up another tab. It's okay, I've got a beer here so I can wait. It's a brew dog. Love them. Have you opened up another tab? Yes, hopefully. Yeah, so get yourself Ed Sheeran, Bad Habits, ready to go. Knock the volume down to half level if you can. And let's listen through together and I will try and remember the things that I said in the previous videos. Um, in the previous video, I should say. And um, I mean, we're just gonna run from start to finish. So uh, again, 100% behind the record label. Uh, it's really sad that I have to do it this way though because it is academic content. So five, four, three, two, one, click. Yes, we are running. So we've got some traffic noise. Oh, 3D work. Some of it was done by Ian Hubert on this video, I believe. And he's a brilliant uh, Blender artist. Okay, so we've got um, we've got some kind of maybe sampled guitar, maybe kind of sort of almost piano like that. I think it's guitar, some kind of maybe a koto. There's a warm pad. His voice is just amazing. I'm not an Ed Sheeran fan either. Um, maybe it was recorded with the C12. It's just silky and like super smooth. And most of that noise probably comes from his face actually. And the, the mic choice and gear choice is just secondary. Really nice vocal line. Lots of space. I'm guessing a Bracasti M7 reverb. See how the reverb just like pops up um, as the crescendo comes in. And then we've got that donk kind of bonk, 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 offbeat bass. If anyone knows uh, what these four to the floor drum machine uh, settings are, you know, what the samples are, um, I'd love to know, stick the info in the comments. And that melody, there's a little bit of flange going on on that ding, 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 ding. Or maybe like a phase or a flange or something. Really cool. I mean, is this a perfect mix? I, it probably is, you know? Wow, love that flange sound. It's so minimal as well. I mean, we can take some of this information, some of this, some of this, um, oh, such a cool build with the cat. Yeah, I mean, we can take some of this as inspiration for our own pop productions. It's so minimal, so so empty, but full. I like the rhythmic uh, gating kind of thing that goes on on that, on that phased or flanged, um, is it a pad? These breakdowns are cool. You were expecting like a build to the cymbals again, and they didn't come in, and it's really good the way he teases you, they tease you, and then they come back in now, I think. T -t yeah, so it's much more harmonically rich when those high-end cymbals are in. Love the tune, and I'm, I'm not an Ed Sheeran fan, and I'm not into pop music that much. <sighs> Is Ed Sheeran the Michael Jackson of the coming era? Good question. So we've got that, we've got the drums, we've got the bass, which could be any subtractive synth, probably a Moog. Oh, here's a really good part. The, hear these drums, this bass drum is acoustic bass drum. And there's a bit of snare there as well. So we're, we're moving more from the electronic era, the v, sort of world through to acoustic. There's clearly Ed Sheeran's guitar. Sounds like a Martin through a 414 or a 214, maybe. 
and then whatever that is, almost that almost sounds like a percussion sound he might make on his looping set. Really classic tune. Uh, it's a, it's a shame that um, Warner are not allowing the other video to to be seen in many countries, but hopefully this is working for you. I mean, this is just a masterclass in minimal production. What you put in there, make it right. All right, well, if you enjoyed that, let me know with one of them. If you hated it, give me one of them and tell me why you hated it in the comments. Either way, you may as well click subscribe. You may as well click the bell icon because then you can come along and give me encouragement or abuse next time I put a video out. Um, no, seriously, though, uh, it really helps and it helps me do the things that I'm doing. <sighs> Go grab whatever your preferred beverage is. Stick that track on again listen to it hopefully with these things in mind stick some of your favorite tunes on let me know in the description in the comments why i was right why i was wrong why i'm an absolute idiot to imagine that he might have recorded through a c12 or a, a 414 um yeah let me know in the description in the comments you know the score i'll see you all next time any ideas for video um, reviews, uh, mix, uh, record producer reacts, just let me know and uh, we'll try and get around to doing them. Have a great day. Bye.